What's we... the What's the problem with not having any sponsors? You gotta buy everything yourself. <laughs> what's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a very large unboxing for you because it is tackle season for us up here in Michigan. There's ice on the water, yep. but it's not thick enough to walk out on, so we can't ice fish and we can't regular fish. So instead, we just buy stuff and we dream about fishing. Uh, we just spent well over $500 on Omnia and a little bit on Tackle Warehouse and a little bit somewhere else, and then we got a bag for free. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> Hey, throughout this video, we're gonna be talking about a ton of tackle and gear, so we will put some links in the description below that you can check out as well at your leisure. <laughs> cha cha cha! I say we start out with our buddy Ethan Dewvetter's company, so we're gonna go with some mule fishing stuff. Now, just a heads up, if you guys don't know this, we go live every Wednesday at 8.15 p.m. Eastern. Live where, on YouTube? On YouTube. Oh my gosh. And for our members, we go live once a month on a Tuesday at 8.15 p.m. Eastern. Mm. And at those lives, we do Schmivaways. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say the real word on here because YouTube gets mad. They don't like it. I don't think they've caught on to our sneaky code yet. Schmivaway means you're going to we'll, get it for free. From us. Via we'll, shipping. We'll give it to you. And all you have to do is show up and you have a chance. <laughs> all right, that's how it works. So I got two of these boxes because we picked up a bunch of these for ourselves mm -hmm. uh, and we're using them. So I want to give you guys some though too because I love them and I think you'll like them as well. So we got two of these, the double-sided tackle organizer. You got perforated foam on this side so you can slot in any of your jigs, rig stuff, hooks, whatever. And then on the other side, you've got open, shallow but open containers here so you can throw a whole ton of jigs. I have loaded one of these down. This is my ultralight go-to kit as all of the ultralight stuff I could ever need. These retail for $10. We're going to shmiv away two of those. At least one, if not both, are going to be on our members only. So that's for you guys. I hope you enjoy it when you get them. Yeah. So if you're not a member, you can click join below to see what it's all about and see if it's worth it for you. Next up, we got probably one of the best hats in the game in our... Opinion, it, comma, spaceman. <laughs> comma, spaceman. Sure, it's available in the store. Uh, so we got mule fishing right here. <laughs> Aggressively average, average anglers. Aggressively merch. average designs. Aggressively <laughs> average designs brought to you by the store below. So we got the mule fishing hat. Uh, it's a Richardson 112. That was one of our favorite fishing hats of all time. Dude. I got one of these for Paul, one for me, and one for Chaz. The old producer. The wizard the old of producer. Uh, And then I picked up two... Refill packs. Mm -hmm. My favorite color of the burrow bug, which is rodeo clown, kind of like a, a little take on a June bug. It's fantastic. It's, like, it's with like more a, orange in it. Yeah, it's like a bright June bug. It banks. It really does. And then some DTJs, the Donkey Tail Juniors, in chartreuse. I why think not? we got a bunch of ultralight A rigs. We got a fish. Uh huh. Look, here's the thing. We are sponsor less. That doesn't mean I it's mean, like weed less. It's not, it's not weed, weed proof. free. <laughs> it's weed less. So here's the deal. Like if somebody, uh, if we're able to work out a deal where someone's gonna send us something, here's the con how the conversation goes, sir. Would you be interested in sending me this thing? I plan on making some content with it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something with it. The other person. Yeah, that sounds great. And then I say, just so you know, if I, don't I guarantee like it. you nothing. And if I don't like it, I'm going to blow it up. And if I love it, I'm going to say that I love it and everything in between. Are you still okay with sending me that thing for zero dollars and zero cents? Yes. That is how we get to this exact scenario. So this bag right here is coming from Frog Guru Baits LLC. So I'm assuming they're frogs. They're frogs. They're frogs. <laughs> Now that's one thing they call it. It's basically two styles of frog. There's a poppin' frog and then like a walking frog. And then we got in a, bu a bunch of different colors. So let's show them the poppin' frog first because you have it out. And then we'll show them Ooh. the walking frog. Super plush body. I love to see that with my frogs. Helping me with the hookup ratio. Obviously we don't know durability until we get on the water and we can actually test it. Uh, but overall, feels pretty decent. Got your little two prong hook set up there. I like that they have the channels for the hooks as well. So you're less likely to pierce the body of the frog and end up with a sinking frog instead of a floating one. <laughs> uh, and then we got the single skirt coming out the back, which I always find to be good and unique. And then it says on the bottom, in case you didn't know from the mouth, popper frog. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty huge It's scoop. a monster. And it's, so it's, it's actually pretty small. So it's a uh, fire tiger. Ooh, 15 grams. And it's, it's Look only like, do you think that's a two inch frog? It's a little bit smaller. It's kind of, it's a smaller profile. It's not gigantic. It's the right size for us, I can tell you that. I love that size. So coming from a smaller company, we we see these as a value. Now that I've got them in hand, 
We're looking at the price on their website. Most of them are five bucks, and then you get some of their premium stuff for like seven fifty. Seven fifty. Yeah. So uh, pretty decent value considering frogs are around five to fifteen dollars, depending on where you get it from. And a huge company can only get it down to four or five dollars with their manufacturing and their yeah. volume. And the, these guys are doing it for this. I, dude, that's a win. That's pretty nuts. So next up, you got this black with. A little bit of, I don't know, is that blue? It's blue, yeah. Oh my gosh, the black and blue frog with the blue eyes, the blue little tiger stripes underneath. That's awesome. And you got the twin skirt coming off the back. Comes with a hefty leg skirt. I mean, do what you want with your frog skirts. That's up to you. You'd rather have a long one than a short one. I'd rather yeah. have to trim it to what I, I want than, to, than not have it when you, you know, if you wanted it. Yep. Again, nice plush guy. So this is one of my favorite colors. Check this out. This has got the chartreuse head with this. This color body, I feel like does the most damage oh, if yeah. it's not black or white. It's a good. So this like greenish yellow is always a smasher. And then the green and brown legs are always a smasher. But I do love the chartreuse. I love the chartreuse head. Same They've got this one available in the popping, which Jeff already showed you, and the regular walking version. And then we got, uh, this material feels kind of funky compared to the others, but it's just as soft as all of them, the Bumblebee. I don't know about you guys, but black and yellow frogs have been a fun go-to for me. They tend to give me a lot of bites. And then we got what I'm going to call Sexy Shad, I was about to say it's all the Sexy Shad colors here. And it comes in, in the popper as well. And walking, I so. love the blue in the back. Yeah. So then we got the old trusty Dusty, which is again, this color scheme on bottom is one of my favorites. This one comes with the white popping instead of in the, in the head instead of the chartreuse and comes in the walker as well. There we go. So this is a flat sided crankbait. Uh, full lip, not, what do you call it? What is this called? Citrus shad. Oh yeah. This is like a citrus shad. It looks quality. Looks like it take a beating. Gotta fish it first. Those hooks are really nice though. Yeah. Nice hooks. I don't know. I wanna use them. Frog Guru baits. That's a handful of frogs right there. Thank you very much for sending us those. If you like the frogs, if you want a value frog, Jeff gets ooh, that one. Yay! And then I get the rest. Frog Guru. It's the Check only them one out. I wanted. $5 for a solid frog. That's, that's a deal. So basically, the next two boxes were all part of one big. AF order that we had to put together. So here's the tackle warehouse portion of this. I picked up some Beast Coast stuff, Z-Man, some jigs, and most importantly, this first thing. If you guys didn't see it, we did a video comparing copy baits, right? And one of those baits from this year's iCast was the OSP Do Live Beaver. This is the original, the copy of which came out from Rapala, the Crush, Crush City. City line. It's called the Bronco Bug. So we did a video on that, had to pick these up so that we could actually compare them visually on camera. And uh, we weren't surprised they looked exactly the yeah, same. Yeah. So anyways, well, well, hold on. The other arms are facing the other way. Yeah, you're right. So <laughs> Rapala flipped the arms, they go up. Anyways, Careful regardless. Now. What you got is these big honking flaps down here at the bottom. <laughs> nice long antennae coming off there, a couple leg appendages. Now, the one thing I will say is like comparatively between the two, this has a smaller hook body section, so it could potentially have issues rigging or falling apart or whatever. That said, I don't know. because I've I mean, heard both people say that they are soft. If you're flipping, look, if yeah, you're flipping a soft plastic, it's gonna get shredded. That's it's, just, it's unless, it's, unless it's Z-Man, it's getting shredded. It's also, a little bit more expensive. 100%. That's just like going, $3. That is going to happen. So you're going to mm -hmm. take a price set is what it is. It's part of the value proposition with yep. a giant company making bait versus a smaller company. But we had to do our due diligence mm -hmm. and get all of it so we can test them out. So these will get tested on the water so we can directly compare them to the Crush City. We just got it so we can do that unboxing video. But here you go. You got that. I picked up a couple. Not well, enough. Not enough, but a couple of my favorite jigs. Uh, so these are from Beast Coast. Beast Coast, another smaller brand. The, my favorite jib run by one guy. Period. Yeah. The only maybe exception would be like battle baits. Yeah, exactly. So this is the working man swim jig. These things are pretty darn affordable. Uh, they are pretty darn well made as well. So the do do the the OSP Beaver eleven forty eight. Ah, that will hurt you. Apollo destroyed them on price. But they also straight up copied them. They're also Rapala, so yep. that's why. Uh, next up, we got the Working Man's Swim Jig. Uh, we got a couple of different colors. These are $3.99 each, hence why they're called the Working Man's Swim Jig. They're a little smaller, 5 16 ounce, but these are perfect for what we like to fish, and you're going to add so a plastic nice. to it. So These are so nice and so affordable. Now, th again, this is Beast Coast, a smaller company. Yeah. They make some of my favorite jigs ever. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're looking for the OW Sniper. Uh, it really doesn't matter the Dozer or these Swim Jigs. They're yeah. all 
phenomenal. You cannot miss them. Their swim baits are sleepers as well. Check this one out. That this color one, is stupid. This one has streamer material, Damn. lavender, and chartreuse, dude. Gorge. Are you kidding me? $3.99 for a very, very nice, high-quality jig. Now, this next one is probably their top seller, would you say? Is this the OW? This is the OW Sniper. So we were sniper. just talking about the OW Sniper. This one also was $3.99, um, and you just can't miss with the OW Sniper. I went it for, doesn't matter what color or what size. I went for the OG Basic, just straight green pumpkin, baby. This thing is going to get it done. I'm excited about that. I mean, from... Show them the hook keeper. Yeah. They use super, super high quality hooks, nothing but the best, uh, and their molds are phenomenal. Look at that. There you go. This Solid. is one of the few companies that I can basically just, I can just outright say, I promise you, you'll be happy with no matter what you order. I'll period. buy all of their jigs. Mm -hmm. And they have the Flip and Delight is probably one of the biggest sleepers in yeah. terms of uh, flipping baits, and their new paddle tail, um, big, bigger swim baits. Another just, they're slept on. The just, Miyagi. Just people are sleeping yep. on them, so go check them out. Beast Coast, good stuff. Uh, another company that I like their jigs from, Dirty Jigs. These are pretty solid. Mm -hmm. This one is a finesse swim jig, even though it's bigger than those working 549, this is a 516, it's all the same weight. So went for the bluegill color with this one, so you got a little green pumpkin, blue chartreuse, all of that. Now this one's interesting. Don't know why. No idea why. No I'm idea just trying why. to thin it out. So finesse, it's like a finesse skirt. So they do their skirt like double layered, right? And then they just cut off all of this layer. I'm not sure exactly why that happens. So you end up with just like an overall thinner skirt, maybe giving you a more finesse presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, these do have like a longer hook shank, so you can put on a bigger paddle, bigger tail. paddle tail if you yep. want, uh, you know, or fluke or whatever. So you can mess around with these things. But I have liked their colorways. I have liked their jigs in the past, and this will be no different. Now again, five forty nine versus three ninety nine. Beast Coast Still takes the dub, man. You just right? can't mess that up. We got one of my favorite flukes of all time. Uh, this is the Baby Z2. Oh. Yeah. I mean, this thing is one tournament. So. Three ninety nine. Three free ninety nine, more like. <laughs> uh, this is the deal. I was yep. trying to find the color. Grab this one in the deal. That's the colorway. It's like a nice flashy bait fish pattern. Same. So the Z2 is the Z2 because it's part Z-Man, part Strike King. This is a collaboration effort. Hence why it's the deal. And yep. it is the deal, the same color as you would see in a Z-Man uh, Elastec. Yep. So the Elastec fluke, this thing has caught me endless amounts of fish. Okay. I have, it's kind of a banger. For a Z-Man, I have gone through packs of these and that tells you how many fish that caught. An that, insane amount. These things are awesome. We got a new technique we're gonna try out this year. This is from Core Tackle. These are hover rigs. So if you guys have not heard of hover strolling or hover rigs, hover jigs. Don't be surprised, you, that's fine. No one, not many people have. It's still kind of a sleeper deal. It's it really out there, is. but it's still a little bit of a sleeper. So what you have here is you have like this little ribbed lead mold up there. You've got a very specific presentation line tie-in right there that's on purpose. And you got your hook coming off the bat. Uh, then you got your hook right here that's nice and finessey. I got these in two different weights. These are, I think, 116 and 18. Yeah, these are uh, 116th and 332. 332. And, these are, and these are 579 for a three pack. These Oof. are not cheap. Oof. It's because they're a unique design. Now, obviously what you end up with is you've got one of those like elbow hooks, right? And then just the mold is a little mm -hmm. unique because it comes up here. You end up hooking these into usually like a finesse worm or a drop shot bait, and you're gonna hook it below the head and then push this whole thing. So it's we'll make like, a video on this later. Yeah, we'll rig it, but you push it below the head, flip it all the way through, it ends up like this, and then you tuck this little point into the head of the bait. And what you end up with is this nice horizontal presentation. Very finesse very light. Uh, it's like a drop shot without having it, you know, rigged a little bit off the bottom. You can just hover it wherever you want. Mm -hmm. Never used it, heard a lot of things about it, heard a lot of good things about it. Just wanna try it, so there you go. And that brings us to the last part of this order from Tackle Warehouse, which is the Micro Goat. This is cool. The itty bitty guy, I got you those motor oil, buddy. 4 dollars for this pack. A little spendy. It's like a dollar more than I would've thought. You get, these are an eight pack, 1.75 inches. Oh, that's forever, it's Z-Man. Oh my goodness, look at this. If you guys are not guy. familiar with the goat, this is basically, this is the exact same thing, it's just a little smaller, yep. hence the name. Uh, and the goat yeah. is kind of a do-all. It yeah. works as a flipping bait, it works as a Carolina rig bait, it yep. works as a trailer, it does everything really well. There we go, Elastec material, 
little micro guy. If you want to go slay some crappie, some panfish, ultra light probably Texas, catch some bass. Ultra light Texas and drop shot, this will absolutely slap. Yep. All right, so that's it for the tackle warehouse portion. Now we get to the big expensive spinny spinny part, which was on Omnia. And uh, this is where we got some reels. We got all the Crush City plastics. Let's get to it. Okay, so first up for this order, we had to pick up all of the Crush City lineup. A lot of people have been talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we met up with some folks at ICAST. We met up with Maggie Joe Outdoors. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a really cool person. And she obviously fishes with Rapala. She's mm -hmm. a huge Rapala rep. Uh, so we're like, ah, well, you know, for that sake, we got to test these things out. Well, and and whenever, a lot of people asked. And a lot of people said they're really, asked. really good. They're really good. Yep. Now, granted, some of the designs, they look extremely similar to some other really successful baits. So One specifically. That's part of it. Well, yep. two specifically. But yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, so let's get into them. So first up, I think we got to start with this one, yeah, right? Which we did. We'll start out, because we already talked about the OSP Do Live Beaver, right? So we picked up actually the exact same color, which is a green pumpkin chartreuse. Uh, and then we also got like an Alabama craw, I think it is, the Bama craw. Mm -hmm. And that is the Bronco Bug. So, so basically, Jacob Wheeler was like a co-developer on all of these. And he was definitely at ICAST in full force, testing these things out, showing them off. There you go, so that's a Bronco Bug. You guys just looked at the Do Live Beaver, and you go watch the video that we did on them side by side. They look very similar because of these big honking flaps. Uh, now, that said, these are going to contribute themselves really well to flipping. And I'm actually super pumped to go flip these both brands around uh, and kind of test them out. I was surprised, though, how many people said these were not durable. So I get that with the LSP. Well, it's it's a, a really high-end soft plastic. These also, rigid. I think, are right in the same uh, right in the same vein. The surprising thing about this is we're going to look at their NEDs here in a second, and they have the ability to make hyper-durable, stretchy soft plastic, uh, which is what the NED material is made out of. But none of the other plastics that they have that I'm aware of are made out of that. I'm not sure why. I feel like this, it's probably to do with, like, putting it in the water column where they want it. Like they wanted this to sink better because it's a flipping bait. I don't know, but there's the Bronco Bug. $6.99 for the Bronco Bug versus $11.50. Oh, yeah. So not free, much cheaper than the, much cheaper than than the, the OSP. Than the, than the OSP. Uh, and it does feel super quality. And again, people that we know and trust and have really good um, perception on tackle and a lot of fishing experience have said mm -hmm. that these are really great. So I don't doubt that these are gonna fish well. That's not, I'm not, with any of the Crush City stuff, that's not in doubt. So this is the Ned BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, obviously. Uh, and this is stretchy material. As you can see, this is what I was talking about. Like, they have access to similar material to uh, this, this, like, hyper-durable plastic, to, like, your Z-Man, Elaztec, and different brands like that that are starting to do more of this. I think Lunker Hunt now has one. Yep. Mule Fishing, we talk about all the time, has that. Uh, it's not all the same formula. Don't get that twisted. Mm -hmm. But... It's stretchy, it's super durable, which is nice with the Ned. That's why we love our Z-Man uh, Finesse TRDs. And that's why we love our mule fishing. $5.99 for these, 10 pack, Ooh. that's pretty solid. Also, you'll notice up top here. Where have I seen that color before? This, well, you'll notice first of all that this color you've seen before. Probably because we have a membership brand named after this, which is Shark Deucers. That's because we love the Shark Deuce. Which is Shark Truce. Copper Truce is what they call it. It's from Z-Man. You got the Copper Flake Green Pumpkin up top, and then you got the Shark Truce on the bottom. I love this color. I've caught a million fish on this color. I stand behind it forever, uh, but this is straight up from Z-Man. That said, you'll also notice this smooth section up top. That's your hook rigging section, right? So you're gonna have your hook going through there. Unique. It kind of looks like a turtle, which I think is cool. It's a ninja turtle. They call this perch for no reason I can discern whatsoever, because this is not what a perch looks like. But this is a really cool color. So you get the like what? What do you like the nude color on the bottom? And yeah. then you get this nice, like sort of sparkly green, gold, and black with green pumpkin. So this, I mean, it's just a really cool color. I've not seen a lot like this, so I like it. Lately, when companies are coming out with like bluegill. Sunfish, perch. perch. I'm like, how? But why do you call that yeah. bluegill? Like the so, perch is the biggest offender of like, know. I'm naming this perch. It looks like shad. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this might be the most called out plastic for us. I've seen this in comments a ton that people were wanting us to pick up the mare. That's their paddle tail version here. So we got two different sizes. They so got a three inch and a four inch. Now the yep. three inch, uh, six fifty for this one, and it is a eight pack. The other one, the bigger one, the four inch is seven bucks. Seven bucks and that is, I think, a, is that also that's six a pack. six pack. So a little bit more expensive. You're paying a bit more for that quantity. Looks like we got some decent action. Uh, pretty soft plastic, a little more forgiving. You've got your hook belly there on the bottom. 
uh, heavy duty rigging section up top with a little slot there so you have a guide for where that hook should be going and nice flat nose front section for rigging. Same thing but smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Ditto for sure. Uh, I like the colors. Yeah. Um, Green pumpkin swim baits are like not something I ever have any confidence in, which is why we bought one. So I can mess around with it and hopefully change that. It's called green pumpkin magic. And then this color is called gizzard shed because I like the natural colors lately. Okay, so next up we got the cleanup craw. It's, it's a straight body craw. So you got the big old hook rigging section there, which is always nice. Uh, you got plenty of room to rig. It is a softer plastic. You've got your little claws here we can break apart. And these claws have a gigantic freaking flange. Look at that. $6.99. Huge. Uh, Cost-wise, $6.99 is pretty high uh, for seven of them. And we yeah. got the watermelon color. We felt that was the safest color to go with. Like, I was we're actually most this. excited when you can see us when we were shopping. Like I had to get something in the watermelon because it yeah. actually looks really good. Their, their watermelon is solid. Okay, last up, probably the one next to the, the Ned. Ned that I'm most excited about. This is called the Free Loader. So this is a straight tail swim bait, which, which is designed is to go on a chatterbait or a spinnerbait or something like that. As a trailer. It's got a tickle tail. Blue Pearl Hollow is one Ooh. of them. Uh, this actually, I think the execution on this is very, very yep. good. Not not a last tech stretchy, but a little right. got a little give to it, and you're gonna get you can't even see it, you're gonna get a ton of action though ton. on this one. So sh any shuttering baits, anything that's got any side to side action is going to really benefit here, and this color is gorgeous. Yep. Here's the chartreuse in white. Uh, obviously, we're going to compare this to other baits similar to this. We've got the chatter spikes now from Z-Man that yeah. just dropped this year. Obviously, those will be more durable than this. We'll just have to see how we like the action, what seems to get bit more, etc. We got your nice flat rigging section up there, heavier duty top section for that hook to come out of. Yeah, it's going on chatter bait, baby. So colors you can't miss on with Chatterbait trailers. My favorites, naturals, like that blue pearl. Mm -hmm. uh, any full chartreuse, chartreuse in white, is gonna absolutely slap. Black and blue, green pumpkin I kinda tend to stay away from, but any orange but craw, or bright it. craw, yeah. pff, bangers. Those are yep. kinda my, our tops. Yep, okay, and then now we're up to the big monies. <laughs> so this is where we spent most $5. of our dollar. We got a swim bait that was highly requested, and then we got a couple of reels. So here is the Spro KGB Chad Shad. Quite the name. Uh, this is the 180. <laughs> Spro Baits, by the way, they're like one of those sleeper companies, I feel like to me, where it's like Spro, I never think of initially, but like Spro has like one of the best frogs ever. Yeah. Uh, Brown Baitco, so uh, somebody who really knows uh, baits like this told us we have to get one of these. This is uh, insane. Spro always knocks them dead. Yo, this is maybe one of the coolest glides I've ever seen. Uh, this is 50 bucks, I wanna say. I'm pulling it right now for All you. All right, I'll second. wait. So this glide bait is $60. Uh, we went with Threadfin. We felt it was a good natural color that we have more confidence in. Which is weird because it's all, rainbow. Yeah, it looks like a trout. But look, look at the side here. This is how far this moves. That's a pretty hefty action on a glide bait. Uh, you can't really see it as well. Or you can kind of see it. There's your weights up in the front. I have a feeling this is going to be extremely well balanced. It's well designed. Fit and finish is amazing. It feels really incredible. It feels awesome. And then you get the swivels, very good heavy duty swivels like molded right in there. What does a swivel That's do? Awesome. Uh, it allows these to turn. Your trebles can now turn so you're not gonna lose as many fish. They're what? not gonna get be able to throw yeah. the bait as easily. My favorite version of a tail too, by the oh way. Gosh. Yeah, I love the brush tails. Look at that right there. Kind of sad it didn't come with the full clam though. You only get the half. You yeah. could probably rip this side and keep it so you could get away with it and cut this up, but yeah. not my favorite. And super heavy duty trebles here. Oh God, that's, gosh. yeah. Nice what bait, 60 bucks it better be. All right. Good Lord, that, that is, is gorgeous. An insane glide bait, I love it. I'm gonna have to trade Paul three of my glides to keep that one. All right. Not gonna work. It'll work. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> It'll work. All right, last up. We've got two reels, uh, both highly requested on our channel. Mm -hmm. uh, one brand new, one mostly new, and we've never used either. Either. So let's get to it. First up, we got the Gravity 
five from Arc Fishing. So we actually have two because I got one very late season through a pre-order, mm -hmm. never actually got to fish it. Uh, but we do have the Gravity BFS as well. So we'll be testing that out this year. Both of these are using the exact same braking system. Which is really cool. Which this is, is awesome. So uh, very, very ingenuitive. So here, ingenuitive. Is that a word? No. The ingenuity on it is very high. Awesome. <laughs> so this is the G5, the Gravity 5 here. Uh, fit and finish, beautiful, feels very comfortable in hand, feels very smooth. It's got some of our absolute favorite knobs uh, ever. Nice looking handle, you got your drag, all of that stuff. Uh, and I like the, the mag setting on the side is really solid as well. 180 so bucks. It's 180 bucks. So it, it's in the like prime tier cost wise for That's like even wheels right now. Uh, under $200 to me is like, let's go, let's see if we can Value, find that's where it better be value yeah. and it better be bringing something a little unique because yeah. you got to stand out among a crowd at yeah. the under, just sub $200 price point. So neat thing I noticed on this, first of all, this is the 8-1 gear ratio, but a neat thing I noticed on this was the line, the pound test right there. You can adjust that from the inside of this. Now, we've seen a uh, line mm -hmm. as an option on like the Hakai from Akuma, but it's impossible to set. They're never as good as you want. No. And now, this one does have an aluminum frame. I have to call that out. It's an aluminum alloy frame. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that ARC brings value-wise to almost all, at all price points. They have some new models coming out that are even cheaper than this that still bring the aluminum frame, which puts them in competition with like the, li the likes of the Shimano SLX and the LFS from Luz, which is rare Insane air. Insane and hard to do. Yep. Carbon side plate, just FYI. So there's this little notch in there. You see that? That's where you change the, the pound test. And it's actually super easy to change compared to many other models of reels that I've used in the mm -hmm. past. So that is really cool. And then you can also see the little mag system. Look at that, it's this internal magnet setup. And here's what it looks like on the spool side of things. So on the spool side of things, look at that. You got a one, a two, and a three. And you just press this down and twist it until it locks into place on the different settings. So one being the lightest, three being the heaviest. Mm -hmm set up, right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to adjust your resistance there from the mag setup. So I'm really pumped to use this. Uh, I think it's got a huge amount of versatility. I'm excited to use it. I think for 180 bucks, this is a freaking solid value reel. We just got to put it to test on the water. And I feel the same way about the BFS. This is just a lighter, slightly smaller version of the same kind of design. Uh, and it's got obviously the shallow spool there. So that is designed for that BFS, but they've lightened the load on this thing a ton. This is also an eight to one gear ratio. Next up, we have the new Corrado, not the Kirado. The, the Shimano Corrado 201 XG, which is the new M. This thing's a beast. Get it out of the box, $200. So even though this is a little bit bigger reel at 200 bucks it is a competitor with that uh, reel that jeff was mm -hmm. just showing you from arc so we want to do a little bit of side by side now to be fair this thing has the big old handle i think this one is in the 1 to 110 uh, millimeter range a 120 could be a 120 it's a little bit bigger for sure it's a freaking um, monster it's got the mgl spool so that is a super light spool which again when you're throwing lighter yeah. stuff or you're throwing anything really it doesn't take as much weight on the end of that rod to get this spool moving um, and it, this thing, I mean, honestly, it's got the Hagane body, so it is aluminum framed. And what I will say about the Corrado, this one specifically, this could be great for umbrella rigs, big swim baits, and honestly, anytime you think you're going to get into a trophy fish, that kind of is where this reel is supposed to live. At 200 bucks for a 200 size reel, the fit and finish is super super nice i mean yeah. it looks really really good and we've heard nothing but glowing reviews from this version um it's got the svs and all the other standard new things from shimano that yeah. you would expect to see for 200 dollars. and it's supposed to comp compete with the k a lot of people said they can't yeah. tell the difference between the k series and this one so like why wouldn't you go with this exactly when the k is more expensive yeah feels really smooth uh feels good in hand I like it. It's a. It's definitely a bigger frame mm -hmm. than the G5. Oh yeah. And you got the bigger knobs and all that. But if I was using this for like big baits, it would. It's I'd perfect. Be, I'd be good. This be probably good. will be my. This will probably. You know what? This might have to go on the heavy stick. I think so. That's probably where it's gonna live. It is gorgeous though. I. I'm honestly. I'm not always a Shimano fan. 
In terms of like looks, I feel like sometimes they're just kind of meh. This one is gorgeous. Another thing that yeah. we really like to see from Shimano is that the side plate is attached. You don't lose that side plate, and it, that's the worst. And it just pops out, which yep. I think is another like underrated thing. A lot of these other yep. other companies, when you want to take these off, you flip the switch, nothing happens, and you kind of have to fiddle with it. You even have to get like a knife or a screwdriver and yeah. pry it off. This one, well, that's the arc. Yep, this one right here, you do this, and you go boop, and there it is. It's out. It's attached. Bam, back in. Yep. Like super easy hands free. You don't have to worry about losing that side plate, yep. which would suck. Like the arc, which comes all the way off and is just a straight on and off option. It doesn't like slide down or rotate down or anything like that. Which is on the normal side. I mean, I which think is, that's that's the vast majority of reels. The thing I love drawback. The thing I love about the arc though, um, the ingenuity to to create a totally new way of adjust the adjustment is really yeah. cool. Like the amount of refinement between those three settings, moving your magnets closer and further from the spool, and then the external settings. On top of the external yeah. settings means when you're all the way close to the spool, you have ten adjustments. Then you can move it to stage two. Yeah. You get ten more adjustments within stage two. Then you move it away to stage three, and you get ten more. Like. That's the type of thing that to yeah. me is like revolutionary. It's game changing. They didn't just mess around and steal someone else's design. They made their own. And that was what actually kept us away from Arc a while. We just were ignorant of the fact that that existed. Yeah. It looks like, oh, I just bought this one from another manufacturer. That's not the case. This is a homegrown design. Granted, it's overseas. Still a homegrown design and something yeah. that is really unique. So that's why we are testing out the five. All right, you guys, that's all we got for this unboxing. Hopefully you saw some cool stuff in there. Maybe you picked some up for yourself. Uh, and in advance, we're sorry for that. So, well, I mean, or you're welcome. Maybe you're <laughs> I was gonna say, sorry business. that I'm not sorry. Sorry that you spent the money. You're welcome for fishing cool stuff. All right, cool. I would also like to know below, between those two reels, because they're comparable, but you get like a little yeah. bit of a price break on the arc. Which one are you most excited to see? And if you had to choose between one of those right now, which one would you pick? And we're going to put them head to head on the water. So if you want to see how that goes down, be sure to smash a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel and catch us on our next video. See you guys later. Goodbye. This way. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs>